so here we have our controller and you can see we have added a new method there which is like elastic search and we are passing a single search term here if you see the DTO we are passing search term and this we will use to actually search in the elastic search and we already have a post so this post is also creating the record in the posts index you can see the create method this is just uh, creating the data in the postgres and once we have received the entity created in the postgres we are actually passing this in the search service and we are calling this and we are posting this record in the elastic search so let's see that in the demo uh, here is our uh, swagger spec running and this is our api post so here we will keep changing our title because title is unique in the database and we keep creating the records okay let's uh, do something like this you keep changing the title and we can also see these set of records from our tool here we can actually get the mapping what mapping is created for our posts index we can also get uh, the values let's say if the title is test we can also run the search and this is autocomplete search which we have already discussed so you will get the record get the records which are starting with title test okay so i have added say so it should be say hi say hello should be there right so you can see multiple records matching with the say that is a say hi and say hello in the title say greetings say hello and uh, maybe say hi right so this is working perfectly now uh, if you see because we are able to post the records from the apis that's why we are able to search here by talking to the elastic search console we are hitting the elastic search directly here okay now we will just hit the api this is our search api we have let me scroll down okay elastic search and here i will pass say and i will execute this so i'm getting the same set of records right so that is not a magic because we have written a schema like this say hi say hello and say greetings i'm getting the same set of records so now we are hitting elastic search for this elastic search is giving us the data we have written a code for this this is the index and this is a search call right in the search we are passing our index name and we are passing this text this is a search term and we are matching with these set of fields the match criteria is different title will behave autocomplete text will behave the the complete text search same for the email and we are getting the response right so now the pretty much simple thing is how to uh, send the data to the index i mean how to create a records to the index so that is simple we are actually doing the index method now you keep adding the data either from the postman now we have api ready also so we are actually creating the data in the postgres and also populating the same set of records in our uh, elastic search and we are keep creating right now another thing is you can also have a delete method where you are actually deleting the post by id and you can also delete that from the postgres so this is our controller we can just add a method let's say this is the post and we will say post id and this will be a delete delete record delete post and this will be a query parameter So we will say call it as a search param dto. Okay, params we need to import. We can import all the missing things and this dto we can create in our same dto file. And this will be nothing but an ID. Export class. This will be an ID of type number. So we can actually copy this DTO validation from here because ID is a numeric if you remember right so it will not be a minus one or something like that 
ID of post type number minimum one this is ID let's say and search param DTO that will pass in our controller and from params let's import this first it will look for this DTO file we'll import this and then we can say params dot id this we are passing and here we will say uh, delete post that is inside a post service so we can write our simple method here public async delete post we are getting id of type uh, number let's say and then here we can just call this method repository dot uh, so let's see this is we are inside a post service so we can use this particular method like uh, await post report dot find and find by id and delete right so first we will actually try to find first so let's see if we have already have a method find post by id or we can actually write this so post equal to await this dot post report dot find so there are different methods find one based on what id or there should be a method find by id find one and we can actually pass an id this should be fine if post is there if post is not there we will throw an exception what exception will be okay the id doesn't found we are throwing an exception exception can be something like this because id doesn't exist let's uh, or we can just call this method this dot get by id this is simple okay let me just hide all these other methods so we can see things clearly const post equal to await this dot get my id and we are passing id so it is taking care of throwing exception if we got the post right now we need to delete this so this dot uh, post repo dot destroy maybe delete is the method and what it is taking the post entity object let's see what delete is taking delete is taking the entity object okay this is fine this is going to return promise and so this is taking a number id of type any because uh, the query parameters always come as a string okay so you are doing get by id here and then doing delete okay that is fine we are fine with this now we also need to trigger a delete on the post service right on the elastic search service right so if we see this how we are calling the elastic search service we already injected that we can actually improve this code it's like a lot of things are there we can call a delete method there should be some method call remove okay and what it is expecting inside remove we are passing the id post id is of type number so let's it's better that if we convert this into the id so let's say post id equal to percent and you pass the id and 10 so this post id we can use everywhere okay and we can just return nothing when I mean, everything is fine it just all delete get my id should be of type number let's say are we calling get by id from anywhere else no okay get by id so we are good here now it is going to rec remove this particular post id also so how it is looking into this let's see 
so it is matching with this id and are we inserting the id in the our schema so that we have to see so this is the payload we are getting and this is the id you see this is of type number and we are matching with the record having id equal to this four five six whatever the numeric value we are passing and then we are deleting it we can also see that in our records are we getting the id yes we are getting so we are actually doing a query match with the id which we are passing otherwise there is another uh, api endpoint is like index forward slash doc forward slash unique id you can also pass the unique id for each and every record and based on that you can delete okay so this will delete uh, the record from the elastic search whenever we are removing those records in from the postgres so it's like everything is synchronized you update we update you delete we delete we create in that postgres we are also creating the same record in the uh, elastic search okay so this is all about the demo i mean i just covered the very basic minimal setup but we can extend it i will post this code whatever i have written here and you can extend it okay uh, thanks everyone